In this video, we will discuss field editing in root mode. When you plan a field or before you use a field, you can edit the field. A well-edited field plays an important role in ensuring the operation efficiency. On the operation mode switch interface, select root, tap the field list on the left side, and select a field that you want to edit. You can rename or delete the field. If a field is large or complex in shape, you can use the divide field function to divide the field into several fields and perform operations on them separately. Tap the field divide button. Tap boundary points to add cutting lines. If you want to save the original field, tap the field and tap save as. Both the original field and the fields divided from the original field are saved. You can also move the crosshair to add anchor points outside the field and divide the field using the lines between them. In the field list on the left side, select the field that you want to edit and tap the field editing icon in the lower right corner. Then, you can edit the field again. You can tap on different areas of the field and edit the field, obstacles, and non-spraying areas. Here, we only show you how to edit the field. If the location of a boundary point is inaccurate, you can tap the boundary point. In the boundary tuning panel that appears on the left side, you can fine-tune the boundary point parameters using the arrow keys. You can tap previous and next to quickly jump to adjacent boundary points. Tap reset to cancel any adjustments previously made on the current boundary point and tap delete to remove it. You can also double tap a boundary point to delete it. To save the boundary point adjustment and exit, tap the blank area. In the flight route settings panel on the left side, you can adjust the route spacing and margin for the field. If you select overall for widened field margins, a unified margin will be reserved for all flight routes. If you select one side for widened field margins, you can tap a boundary of the field or select a range of boundaries to adjust the margin for the flight routes close to the selected boundaries. The margin of the rest flight routes remains unchanged. Tap OK to complete the settings. Be sure to set the overall margin before adjusting the one side margin. Otherwise, the one side margin will be affected by the adjustments of the overall margin. Obstacle boundary safety distance refers to the distance between the flight route and the obstacle boundary. It ranges from 1.5 meters to 5 meters, which can be set based on the actual situation. By default, start point is set to the waypoint closest to the agricultural drone. If you want to adjust the start point, tap start point and select a new start point. In advanced settings, you can choose whether to fly and spray along the boundary of the field based on the actual situation. If you select route and boundary, the drone will fly and spray along the boundary of the field after finishing operations along the flight routes in the middle of the field. This can achieve better spraying effects. If you select boundary only, the drone will spray only along the field boundary. You can decide whether to fly the aircraft along the boundary clockwise or counterclockwise. If you enable the sided spraying function, the drone will turn on only the outer sprinklers for spraying during lateral movement or turn on only the inner sprinklers during bypassing. Take note that there is a risk of overspraying when this function is enabled during bypassing. We recommend that you do not enable this function when spraying crops prone to phytotoxicity. To adjust the flight route direction, you can tap settings to enter the interface for fine-tuning the flight route direction or directly tap the course angle icon to adjust. Disable auto optimization first. You can double tap a selected field boundary to quickly align the flight route direction with the boundary. You can also drag the route direction icon to adjust the flight route direction. If only minor adjustments are required for the route direction, you can tap the icons on the left side for fine-tuning. You are advised to enable auto-optimization at the top for the system to automatically select the optimal flight route direction. Tap Yes to complete the adjustment of the flight route direction. If you do not need to operate over the entire field, you can segment the flight route using route segmentation. Tap Route Segmentation and drag the slider below to segment the flight route with a desired proportion for operation. 
Tap OK to complete the flight route segmentation. Tap Save. Enter the field name and tap Save again to complete the field editing. Tap Use to operate over this field.